Welcome to Plants vs. Zombies in Aspie Let's Play. I'm going to be starting a new profile today on my Let's Play profile, Cloud. I'm going to be starting from the beginning because I noticed that the menus have a music track and I don't want you know, people to just come in anytime. I, I, don't, I don't want to just come in in the middle of the song. I want to hear the song from the beginning. That way. Plants vs. Zombies. Start adventure. I think there is a reason why Aspies would like this game. Uh, the music is very comforting. It, um, it, it works, I think, like the music that's played right here. It's very... It's very pleasant. Like, it, it has a hint of danger to it, but it is very pleasant music, and it works. Now, the way to play Plants vs. Zombies. The object of the game is to stop zombies from entering the house on the left. They, the zombies will enter from the right, from those bushes. They will slowly make their way from the right side of the screen to the left. Like so, we got a zombie coming in right now. If a single zombie makes it past where that lawnmower is right there, where I'm trying to point to, you automatically lose the game. You'll say, the zombies ate your brains, and you'll hear the guys yell, no, and you have to start all over. The, <laughs> the principal method of stopping zombies from getting to your house is to use these plants. The, the, these green plants that I'm using right now are the basic defense called pea shooters. They are shooting peas at the zombies. That's the end of level one. At the end of every level you are rewarded with a new flower. We just got the sunflower. Grants you additional sun. The sunflower is the most important plant in this game. It allows you to... One second. And we're back. Sorry about that. As I was saying, the sunflower is the most important flower in the game. It produces sun in addition to the sunlight that is naturally produced. The sunlight that falls from the sky. The sunflowers produce uh, units of sun every so often. The way to play the game is to plant as many sunflowers as you can to get a steady supply of sun so you can plant some more plants like these pea shooters. So what I should be doing right now is focusing on planting the sunflowers before any zombies show up. Yeah, we got a war. 
rewarded with our second new plant, the cherry bombs. Cherry bombs explode, and when they explode, they take out a number of zombies in the vicinity of the explosion. We are now also introduced to our second type of zombie, the pylon zombie, or the traffic cone zombie. The traffic cone zombie has higher stamina than the normal zombie, so I, I, think, I think it comes to about twice as much stamina. So it's important to get a pea shooter on it as early as possible so that you can do enough damage to it before it reaches the house. Right now, uh, these, these regular zombies only take like three hits, or five hits to take down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so ten shots. Their first traffic cone zombie right there. Five rows of grass instead of just three. So now we are at the maximum difficulty. Well, we're not at the maximum difficulty yet. We're getting there though. The zombies are gonna get harder from here on out. Also, with all the space I got for planting flowers, I can... It's, it's actually a lot better when I have more space, so now I have more room to plant sunflowers. See, like that. Always plant sunflowers before you start planting your pea shooters. Pea shooters, uh, they can wait because the zombies are slow and they take a certain number of hits in order to take down anyway. For a relatively small number of hits. Brains. Brains. Oh, we need a pea shooter. There's a pea shooter. Brains. And when I start getting excess... When I start getting excess sun, sun points, I can start planting things like walnuts to slow them down. Not 
quite at that point yet. Right now I'm just trying to make it so that I have at least two pea shooters on every row. So I need a pea shooter here. And I'll put a pea shooter over here. I'm gonna slow that guy down with the walnut because he's gonna take a lot of hits before he goes down. Walnuts also take a long time to regenerate, so you have to use them sparingly. Blow them up, I say! Die, zombies. allows you to dig up a plant and make room for another plant, so if you feel you made a mistake and put the wrong plant somewhere, or you're being strategic, and moving out plants that are no longer necessary, like sunflowers for instance, you can dig them out. But I'm going to cut the video here, and when we come back we're going to be starting on the next part of the first stage of Plants vs. Zombies. I'll see you guys then.